Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing another water filter. Today I'm reviewing the AquaTrue Countertop Reverse Osmosis Water Purifier right here on the countertop behind me. I'm going to go through what this looks like when you get it, how to set it up, the pros and the cons, talk about what contaminants it removes from your water, and at the end I'm going to give you my personal review after I've been using this product. So as always, there will be a discount code for the AquaTrue Reverse Osmosis Countertop Purifier. So if you're going to be buying this, make sure you check out the description below for a discount on this water purifier. So this is a countertop water purifier. It is a reverse osmosis system. It uses a patented four-stage ultra reverse osmosis technology. The filter removes more than 80 different contaminants certified to be removed. The full list is on the website, but I'm going to give you a few that are relevant here. 97% of chlorine, 96% of chloramine, 99.1% of heavy metals like lead, and 97.2% of chromium-6, 98% of arsenic, various pesticides, herbicides, trace pharmaceuticals, and other chemicals, usually between 90 and 99% of those, 99% of BPA, volatile organic compounds or VOCs, mostly 99% or above, fluoride is at 93.5%, nitrate and nitrites, 89.9%. For fluorinated chemicals, aka PFOAs and PFOS, 97.5%. And of course, the device itself is BPA and BPS free. Another nice thing about this is it's very plug and play, so you could take it with you if you're a renter or something, there's no plumbing or installation required. So you get one gallon of water in about 10 to 15 minutes, which is faster than a pitcher, let's just say, which usually takes about half an hour. This countertop filter behind me is $450 on the website. The filters last from six months to two years, depending on how much you use the water. What's nice about the countertop purifier is there's no installation other than the one I'm gonna show you today, which just takes a few minutes. No plumbing, it's very easy to set up. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and how this works is there are two tanks. One is for tap water, and one is for the filtered water. So you're gonna pour the tap water into the tap water tank, and then you'll get filtered water in the filtered tank. And then the filter uses a four-stage filtration process. Here is stage one through two, which is the pre-carbon filter. Stage Three is the reverse osmosis filter, and stage four is the VOC carbon filter. In stage one, the water passes through a mechanical pre-filter that removes larger particles like sediment and rust. Stage two, the water moves through a carbon filter that removes chlorine and chloramines. Stage three, the water passes through the reverse osmosis membrane, filtering out dangerous inorganic chemicals like lead, chromium-6, arsenic, uranium, nitrates, and many more. And stage four, the water passes through the activated coconut block filter, which removes organic compounds like rocket fuel, prescription drug residue, PFAs, and leaves you with pure and great tasting water. So one of the biggest pros of this water purifier is that it has been NSF tested and certified. Most of the filters I reviewed on this channel before at least have only been NSF tested but not certified, so this one actually has been certified. And that certification proves that it removes 83 contaminants. This means that the products have been tested by a third party and proven to reduce contaminants for their full filter lives, which range from 600 to 1200 gallons. So you're gonna be getting really healthy and delicious water with this purifier. Okay, so some of the cons would be, first of all, the price. $450 is a pretty large price tag for a filter that lasts you anywhere from six months to a year, depending on how much you use it. The replacement filters cost about $60 per year, or you can buy a two-year combo pack with more filters in it for $150, and you save $40 that way. Another con is the warranty. So there is a one-year limited warranty on this, and other filters I have reviewed have a lifetime warranty. So while this only has a one year warranty, the company has said that they will have they will provide customer service to you for the lifetime of the product, but the warranty itself is only one year. Okay, the last con, and I will talk about this more in my personal review, but just that this is so big. And so having a space on your countertop for it might be an issue. All right, let's get this set up. I'm gonna show you how to set this up really fast and what it looks like to get it ready for use. So the installation is very easy. The first thing you wanna do is remove the tap water tank and the filtered water tank and wash them with warm water and soap in the sink. And it says here to wash them at least once a week. So this is probably to prevent any bad bacteria from growing within the plastic. And you also don't wanna keep this filter in a sunny location or anything like that. You wanna keep it shaded to preserve the quality of the water. So now that the tanks are washed, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on the dispenser. And then lift upward on the side panel, panel here and it will detach. And this is where your filters are gonna go. 
and you're going to install the filters according to the color codes here, which is super easy. And you just place them in the socket and turn them clockwise. There's these little arrows that exist on the bottom and you line those up with the arrows right down here. It says that these can pivot outward to make the installation easier, but I am not seeing how to do that. So that's a little bit confusing. It just doesn't seem like it's tight enough. Okay, so that was a little bit confusing, but I figured it out. So you want to end up with the arrows touching each other at the end. So in order to do that and rotate clockwise, you have to start with the arrows turning 90 degrees to the right, like that, and then you rotate it into, into place. And now that feels tight. So those two are done. There we go. I never figured out how to bring these out forward, but I did get them installed correctly that time. Slid back on. Next, you're gonna fill the tap water tank up with cold water. So that's this one in the back here. Okay, this handle's nice, easier to carry that way. So then you want to reinstall that tap water tank and you're going to run four full tank fulls through the filter. So this is a unique filter in the way that it uses an electrical cord to power the filter. So I don't know if you can tell the speed that the water is being filtered, but it seems to be filtering quite quickly. And there is a white cloudy material that is coming through the tap water tank. And this also has the screen that is showing you the different stages of filtration. And after about a minute, I can see that the filter water is starting to come through. Note that it will take longer than normal for the first cycle to go through. And the white cloud is visible in the tap water tank, which represents tiny air bubbles that are being released by the RO membrane. The AquaTrue will stop filtering water when the clean water tank is full or when it's time to refill the tap water tank. And when it's time to refill the tap water tank, it will be a quarter full, so it will not be totally empty. It will have that quarter of water reserved that is unfiltered. What this is, is called backwashing. It's what all reverse osmosis water filtration systems do. They waste water when backwashing the RO membrane. So with this company's new patented AquaTrue recirculation RO system, it only takes one gallon of tap water to make three or four gallons of pure water, which is a great improvement. And the water left in the tap water tank contains all the impurities from the tap water. So it's important to note that the water in the tap water tank must be discarded every time you refill the tap water tank. And failure to do this will damage the unit, which will void the warranty. So you wanna make sure you discard that water from the tap water reserve. Okay, so after setting this filter up and running it through the filtration process a few times, I can say that it was pretty easy to set up. I had a little trouble with the actual filters going in and out, but once the tanks are in and the water is fil filtering, it's pretty much good to go. So for maintenance, you want to clean out both tanks once a week with soap and water. This is to prevent calcium buildup and also algae in the water tanks. The screen here will let you know when it's time to replace your tanks by highlighting which tank needs to be replaced. And it will also highlight when the water is done, although you can tell when the water is done because it'll stop making noise. When the filter needs to be changed, the filter light will remain lit on the filter that needs to be changed. Upon replacement, press the filter reset button located on the back of the unit for five seconds and the lights will resume cycling through the filter numbers. Also, what the company says if you're going on vacation or something, you're gonna to need to store your water filter for a long period of time, you wanna just flip the switch to off. Then you wanna wash both tanks with soap and water and allow the tanks to dry thoroughly before reinstalling them. When you return from vacation, you wanna purge the system of stagnant water by running four full tap water tanks through the system. Once the fourth tank has been filtered, the unit is ready to use. Alternatively, you could have a house sitter or something run water through the tanks while you're gone. I think the idea is you just don't want any water to sit in the tanks or the filter. Once the filter is done filling up, you can pour yourself a glass of water by pressing the blue button here. And that fills up really quickly. To reinstall the filters, simply remove this side panel, pivot the filter outward to make it easier to install, and then rotate the filter counterclockwise back to where you originally had it, and you remove it that way. 
to reinstall the filters, you want to end up with the two arrows facing each other. So you're going to start by rotating counterclockwise, inserting the filter, and then rotate clockwise to tighten it, and then you can push it back into place. So it's very easy to replace these filters once you get the hang of it. A little confusing the first time I did it, but much easier now. And then you want to press the filter replacement button for at least three seconds and turn your device on and you're good to go. Okay, now I'm going to share with you my personal review of the AquaTrue Reverse Osmosis water system. This was my first reverse osmosis system. So I have to say that the three-part filtration system is quite impressive. It really removes everything out of the water. And so as far as water filtration systems go, this is going to be a very high quality option for you. So I'll talk about the pros in my opinion first. So first of all, the amount of contaminants that this removes and the quality of water is very high, like I just said. Because there is the discard water at the end after it's filtered all the water and the kind of bad water stays behind, you know for a fact that the water that you are getting is going to be completely pure. So if that's what you are most concerned about, then this water system will be perfect for you. Another pro is that the filtration system is actually very quiet while it's working. I expected this large thing that you know plugs into the wall that does so much going through the three different filters to be a little bit louder. So it's pretty quiet. It's actually kind of calming and um, just not disruptive at all. So that's one pro. And lastly, the water tastes better than tap water. However, as I move into my con section, I'm gonna say that the water is not as good. It's a little bit flat because it removes um, so much out of the water. Okay, and the last pro is that the system is actually not that unattractive compared to other reverse osmosis systems. If you kind of look on Amazon and you're shopping around, a lot of them show the three-part filters. Kind of having that on your countertop would just be kind of an eyesore. And so this one is actually the sleekest one, in my opinion, that I, that I saw from my research. And so if I was going to have this on my counter out of all the systems, this would be the one that I would choose. It's really not that distracting. It kind of just sits on the counter. It's pretty easy to look at. Okay, so cons for this water system. For me personally, I like to use a pitcher or an under the sink filter. I don't like having this in my kitchen. We don't have a lot of countertop space, and so I like something that I can easily move and that can get out of the way if I need it to get out of the way, or better yet, not even be on the counter at all in the case of an under the sink filter. So that's my personal opinion. This is quite heavy. I don't like how heavy it is because if I wanted to use this part of my countertop, I have to move it and I have to disassemble it and it's just cumbersome. So this would be best suited for you if you have a spot in your house that you are not going to need to move the filter. It's best used if you are going to have a permanent home for it and you can constantly be filling it up and using it on a daily basis. Another con for me is I know that this removes calcium and some other minerals from the water that I would prefer to have in the water. So for us, we would like to have the good parts that are in our water. Where we live, we don't have the worst tap water in the world. So a simple filtration system does work pretty well for us. So this is probably not necessary for us to go through this sophisticated of a system. So we would prefer to have a filter that leaves those minerals in. Another con that is kind of a silly thing, but it's true, is that the dispenser is high enough from the countertop for a small cup but it's not enough space for like a water bottle. So if you're using a water bottle, you have to move the dispenser off the counter to have enough clearance to get your water bottle in. If you've watched any of my review videos before, you know that I drink my water out of a large quarter gallon mason jar. And so when I couldn't fit this underneath the system, I was like, eh, I don't like that. But that's just me being really picky. And like I said, maybe you do have a spot in your house that that would be just fine. Another con is that this is not going to give you very cold water. It's gonna be room temperature, which means if it's summertime and it's really hot, the water will be just kind of room temperature warm. Now you can remove with the handle the filtered water portion and put it in your refrigerator. In my opinion, because we are all home all day, so we drink a lot of water, going back and forth to the fridge and then having to refill it, is just a little bit too much work for us. So I don't like to move that into the fridge because then I have to move back and then filter the water again and it doesn't hold enough water for me to like to have it in the fridge. I prefer a fridge dispenser if that was the case. 
All right, well, I hope this was helpful in helping you decide which reverse osmosis system is right for you. This is a great one. So overall, my review of this system is going to be a 4.5 out of 5, mostly because of the contaminants that it removes with the three filtration process and it being reverse osmosis. So it's very high quality. The reason I'm not giving it a 5 out of 5 was because I did have a little trouble setting it up and figuring out how to get the filters in, and also because it's very heavy and difficult to lug around the kitchen. Like I said, it should be for somebody who has a permanent spot for it and is not going to move it because it is big and takes up a lot of space. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to use the discount code in the description box below for 15% off and a free filter bundle for this filter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more BOS water filtration content and reviews. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.